So in Google AI Studio, there is this new model, Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental. You can try this model for doing image editing. So all you have to do is you have to log in with your Google account into aistudio.google.com. You have to do create prompt and then in that you need to select this Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental, right? And uh, you know, this is a multi-model model. So it is good for multi-model understanding, multi-model generation, native tool use. So what I've done over here is that I've uploaded my photo over here and I've said change glasses to Ray-Ban aviators. So this was the output which was generated, which was quite good in my opinion. Here is the image zoomed out. If you see, you know, a little bit of maybe the specs can come a little bit down or this thing, but at a high level, this is very good. Okay. So I said, let me try some more things like make the face angry. Okay. Just to change the expression of the face, right? This is messed up, I would say. Right. Uh, if I were to open this image in a new tab, uh, you can see this is a messed up image. Okay. It's not able to do it properly. I said, make the original face sad. Even this is a messed up image. Okay. But yeah, this edit is quite nice. Right. So maybe I need to upload the uh, photo again and then maybe, you know, uh, try to see if, uh, you know, whether it will work properly. Okay. So maybe I'll copy this image. Let's try out a new prompt here with Gemini 2 uh, experimental and let me put it over here. And let me say, make the face angry. It's still copying over here. Uh, once it is done, we can press run. Yeah. Let's see what is output. So it takes around some 10 seconds for it to generate the output. That's what I've seen. Um, so anytime we should have the result by now, a little bit more this time. I'm not sure why. Yeah. Wow. This is even more horrible, I would say. Okay. Ah, uh, you know, uh, this is just plain horrible in my opinion. Okay, so this is funny, right? So there are some other use cases which I found really interesting. For example, I uploaded a particular image of, you know, a Bangalore building in rains basically. And I said, change the scene setting to evening light with rain and sunlight peeking into the frame. Okay, uh, so this was the original image. This is the edited image. Let me open it on a new tab. Okay. So if you look at uh, this particular image over here, the edited image, it has done a very good job over here. I really like this image. Uh, introducing that, uh, you know, uh, evening light with rain and sunlight peaking, it has done an excellent job over here. So in some cases, it does really well. Another use case is actually, you know, interior, uh, what do you call? You want to edit images of uh, interiors, basically room interior, some kind of interior design. Okay. So what I've done over here is that, uh, it's taking some time to load over here. Okay. So this is the original image, right? I've said edit the kitchen top to black granite. And this was the image which was generated. So if you look at this image, yeah, it is converted this kitchen top to black granite. But if you look at this, it is also done some kind of replacement of things over here. So maybe you need to edit the prompt such that, that, you know, edit the kitchen top to black granite without replacing any furniture or sorry, replacing any equipment, which is already present over there. Okay, I tried another this thing where I uploaded this particular image and said change the wall color to light blue, take care of lighting. So, oh, see over here, it has changed the wall color to light blue. Uh, it has taken care of the reflection and other things, the lighting basically. Okay, so if I were to open it in the new image, if you see over here, it has taken care of, uh, you know, the reflections and the lighting part also. And it has done a very good job of wall painting over here, the textures and everything is quite well maintained over here. Another example, I said, place a table with fruits in the center of the room, change sofa colors to light brown. If you see over here, it has changed the red color sofa to light brown over here. And it has placed a table with fruits. Let us look into this image over here. See, it has kept some kind of fruits over here. May not, if you zoom in fully, it may not look natural, but it's changed the sofa colors. It has done a good job over here. So you can use this kind of an uh, model for say, uh, interior design basically. So I said, okay, let me take it to a next level. And I said, I will give this reference image of a TV set on the wall and ask it to put it into the original image over here. That was the expectation, but then it's not able to do it. Okay. I've seen a couple of examples where I tried this and it did not work. Right now, another, uh, interesting, uh, you know, uh, thing which I tried over here was, I, I wanted to uh, try out another uh, thing where you now we have this image, right. Of a person waiting uh, for a train. Right. I said, make the person wait in an airport looking at a flight takeoff. It just bought in this announcement kind of thing over here. It could not do it. I said, make the person stand in an airport at a flight and have a airport looking at a flight takeoff. You <laughs> get this weird image. 
So still a lot of improvement is possible with this tool, but in some cases uh, like this evening rain scene, um, you know, uh, scene change. Uh, the other one where I had my, uh, you know, uh, glasses change on my face. In those kind of use cases, it was really working out. I have another one also for interior design. Let me see if I can show that. Yeah, so this is an image of a room, right? And I said, place a dining table with four chairs, dining table made of rosewood and vintage design in this particular image. This was the image which was generated. Uh, I think it is here. Yeah, this image is quite good. I kind of liked it, but <laughs> you see this image artifact over here. It is good. Uh, this is actually the leg of the table, but somewhere it's getting merged into the background over here. Maybe uh, you know it should be a little bit more clear over here. But yeah, at a first look, it looks really nice. Over here also, it's not got the geometry and other things uh, proper over here, if you see this particular part. So this is an interesting model with uh, amazing capabilities of image editing. Anyone can just log into Google AI Studio. This is available freely. You can go and try out this model and see how well it's performing on image editing. I've seen some really nice image edits on uh, X where people have used, uh, you know, this Google uh, Gemini 2.0 Flash experimental for image editing and have created awesome edits. So check it out for yourself and see how it does image editing for you. Hope this video is useful. See you in another video.